Hey guys, this is Trent, and uh, first off, thanks for being Guitar Animal members, love that. Uh, this is our second installment of Riffology, and what we're covering today, of course, is the harmony guitar sections for the Thin Lizzy song, The Boys Are Back in Town. Uh, there are two guitar parts to this, and what a harmony guitar part is, is where you will have two separate guitarists playing totally different notes, and they harmonize together to form the solo. It's a really, really cool effect. And anytime you can work with two guitar player or another guitar player and create harmonies, I think you really enjoy it. You can actually do it here because what's going to happen is I will play guitar one, you guys can play guitar two while mine's playing. You can actually hear those harmonies. What you're going to hear is kind of a humming sound. They hum together almost like the notes in a chord. So really, really cool stuff. The part I just played for you was guitar one section. That would be the one that, if you watch the video that I suggested Gary Moore was playing, and it really sounds, it's the head of the, of the solo, and it really sounds like the solo. The second part that I'll be playing sounds kind of like the solo. The rhythm is the same, but the notes sound off. But again, it's dependent of being played with the second Part. You have to have both parts together to really create the harmony. Okay, so I'm going to go through this nice and slow. I'm not really going to call out all of the frets because if I do that, I think it gets in the way of learning it. So print out your tab sheets. If you have not done that yet, stop the video here. Print out the tab sheet for this. Again, Riffology, the second lesson in Riffology, the second one. And follow along with your tab sheet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to be playing most of this on the middle two strings of the guitar, 7th to ninth fret range. We're going to play the 7th fret, the ninth fret, and 6th fret on your 3rd string like this. I'll play it slowly. A little bit of vibrato there, that's what the squiggly line is in the tablature. Notice when I let when I ended that the very last two notes on the tab sheet are down here on the fourth string second fret and open. I put them there. Those are the notes E and D, and I put those there because it facilitates getting back to the chords if you're going to go back into the chord section. However, when I was just playing the solo here, I actually ended with the seventh fret on the fifth string and then the fifth fret on the fifth string. Same two notes. It's just I was up here in my lead section, just stayed here. Uh, you can play them in either place. I just wanted to mention that because I varied a little bit from the tab sheet. So again, that's guitar one. So you want to stop the video here, set your loop points. You can slow it down even further than I just played it because I've played it for you fast at the beginning. And I just played it for you slow. And loop it and go over it as many times as you can to get that down until it's perfect because we like perfection here at Guitar Animal. Next up is going to be the guitar two lower harmony part to this. It's something that's played underneath it. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So now we're looking at the lower harmony part to the solo. The boys are back in town. Again, this is going to sound a little bit off from the solo, but it needs to be supported by the upper section. So check this out. It goes like this. That's to speed, and I'm playing this section mostly on the fourth string and on the fifth string. Again, follow along with your tab sheets. I'm going to play it slow for you here. It's going to be like this. we go back to the A chord we're going back into the song. So again, this is the lower harmony part. Now, what you guys can do here, learn guitar one's part, the faster, the higher part, and then learn guitar two, and then as I'm playing these, you can play the opposite or opposing part. You can play the higher section while I'm playing this lower part and hear the harmony, and then you can play, or play the lower section against my higher part that I'm playing, and you can hear those harmonies happening in real time here on Guitar Animal, and make sure you slow it down so you can hear them slow and then you can hear them fast. They both have the same feel to them and the same meter and the same pace, but you're playing totally different notes and totally different shapes. So it's really good to learn things like this because you get a lot better at using your fingers. All right, new part coming up. All right, 
Check this part out. That is not a harmony part. However, it is part of the song. And I wanted to throw it in, so this was a good place to throw it in here. What I'm playing is basically a D sus four chord, which is third fret of the first and second strings, second fret of the third string, open fourth string, and we're gonna do what's it's like a 12-8 bar here where you're gonna go da 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 four triplets in a row. So I'll play it slowly. Switching to D. And that's all there is to it. But you will hear it. Again, it's up tempo. It's... All right, so now you know that section of the song. It's just something that happens once or twice in the whole song. But if I didn't cover it when it got to that point, you'd be like, what part is that? I don't see it in the tablature. So now you have it. Make sure you check it out. Again, just D sus4 to D. Next up is going to be the harmonies we get into later on in the song. And I think you'll like this part. Now that is the lower harmony section of this part that we're covering now. It's the outro type solo. Um, that part doesn't, it's not the head of, this, of the solo, so it sounds really, really off. When I play the next part, you understand what this part's really supposed to sound like. But again, these two guitar parts have to go together. So that's the lower section. And now we're gonna cover the upper section. Sounds like this. Again, those two guitar parts are played at the same time. Make sure that you're looking at your tab sheet when you're working this. They're both worked on mostly the third string, third string and fourth string on the higher section, and uh, also on the lower section. Again, the second, the lower part is much more difficult to play because it doesn't really sound like what you're used to hearing. Ending with a D chord, D5 chord there, and then an E5. And then the second time through on the higher guitar, we play the D at the fifth position, and then this E at the seventh position. Joe's chords would be D is seventh fret on the second, third, fourth string, and fifth fret on the fifth string. And then the E would be nine on the second, third, and fourth string, and seven on the fifth string. But these are the two harmony parts. Definitely on this, the higher guitar part sounds like what you're used to hearing in the song. So you might want to learn that one first. In the, the order that I have them on the tab sheet, I have the lower one first for whatever reason. I just put that in. I kind of wanted to mix it up so you guys are going back and forth between lower and higher parts and not skipping anything. But they're listed as guitar one, higher harmony, guitar two, lower harmony. And make sure that you get both those down. All right, guys, so that was our study of harmony guitar parts, just a little snippet of how harmonies work, and you can play the higher part and the lower part, and then mix and match those with me. In other words, you can learn it by playing the high part while I'm playing the high part, and once you have it down, then play your high part harmony over the section that I'm playing the lower part in, and vice versa. So you can actually get a feel of playing the part that really sounds like the piece, or playing the supportive part, the lower harmony part. I think you really enjoy it. I really enjoy playing harmonies. Used to do it in bands all the time and found it really, really fun. I'm Trent, as always. Thanks for being Guitar Animal members and I hope to see you here again real soon.